Now, over 3.5 million people in the UK go through some kind of fertility challenge in their lives, and many of them say that while physical care is there, they fail to realise what an emotional toll fertility problems can have. Well, this week is Fertility Week, and the charity Fertility Network UK are looking to remove some of the taboos and myths around infertility and raise awareness of the impact it can have. Simon found out more. Fertility-related trauma, infertility-related trauma, rather, is more cough, more common than than um, is recognised, and it's something that isn't really spoken about, and unfortunately is minimally discussed by healthcare professionals. It is it impacts so many couples who are experiencing infertility. It's not just couples, because of, as we know, it's not just couples that have um, fertility issues, but. What we're seeing is that the majority of fertility clinics are based in London, you know, so we're thinking about a, a large number of the population of the, the UK who will be imp impacted by infertility related trauma. There was 590 people that, that took part and 41% of those people um, self-reported um, trauma as part of their fertility journey. When it comes to support for infertility, um, I imagine there's a long way to go in this country, but additionally, what are some of the needs that are not being met in terms of counselling, in terms of uh, you know, emotional support when these issues arise? With Fertility Network UK, we really strive to, we've been striving for clinics to provide equitable access for uh, fertility counselling, for it to be standardised and for healthcare professionals to really um, support people that are presenting in their clinics and making them aware, so increasing awareness of the, the support that is available and the impact, because quite often it's not until you're in it that you, you, you sort of understand how impactful it is on your mental health you know you're you're going through an, an emotional roller coaster which involves emotional distress and as we've seen from the findings of the report trauma but specifically there needs to be um, more skilled and more awareness amongst healthcare professionals in dealing with uh, infertility related trauma so there's a, a, a skills gap there's training you know there's there is fantastic support that is being provided you know and uh, it, it, it's about making it more trauma informed and um, progressing so that healthcare professionals can be aware of what that is but also you know provide adequate and timely support when it's needed for for patients. Can, can you give me an example so I understand it better what an example of this particular skills gap might be when it comes to uh, you know trauma support? when it comes to infertility, what, what, what is a kind of a real world example or even people who come to you as part of this like research to share their experiences? What are some common trends that people say they experience when they say, look, the, the, the support, at least the emotional wellbeing support for the trauma isn't there? I think it starts with providing information. So, so many people have reported that they haven't even been aware of the the support for their uh, their um, mental health you know um, when they have been in a clinic or healthcare professionals perhaps have handed them a leaflet you know and and there's ever said there's many healthcare professionals that do fantastic jobs and really promote that but what we are finding is that people there's a lack of awareness about that and also you know not really discussing the, the, how traumatic the process can be with with um, patients and managing expectations, you know, because it is a, a, a journey in uncertainty. And so, you know, there is going to be times when it's unsuccessful, you know, there's going to be anxiety, there's going to be loss, there's going to be depression for many, many, many people. And, you know, when that's left untreated, we're talking about uh, complex PTSD or, or, or PTSD that can be a result of that. So I think it is very much very common to, to 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 for patients to feel that they've not had enough information, but also that you know when they have been reporting the the, the these ongoing overwhelming symptoms of trauma 
that it's not being validated, you know, that, that it's not being seen, they're not being referred um, for more specialist intervention or being aware, made aware of additional support. There we are. And uh, for more information and advice, uh, you can go to their website, which is fertilitynetworkuk.org.